Hello teachers! In this course we're going to take a look at three different ways to make quiz apps of increasing difficulty. In lesson one we will build a basic quiz app that anyone can build in a few minutes. In lesson two we will build a medium difficulty quiz app with more features like images and blockly coding. In lesson three we will build an advanced quiz apps with features like scorekeeping and advanced user interface. These three lessons are great for both students and parents teachers as there is an emphasis on teaching curriculum aligned material but it's also focused on helping students make fun apps that they can actually use. If you're a parent teacher here is a topic that the course will cover. Introduction to app sheet app building, introduction to visual programming Blockly, introduction to text-based programming, JavaScript, introduction to app design using jQuery in AppShed. If you're a student, you'll also be doing the following. Building your own apps, applying your hobbies to your app, Minecraft quiz app, publish your finished quiz and test your friends. Let's get started. As we progress through the course, the quizzes will become more and more advanced. In the first section, we will be building a very simple quiz app using the basic app sheet tools without any coding or images. The first thing we need to do is create a new app to house our quiz. We will need to do this for every different quiz we make. Login to appsheet.com. Click on App Builder. Click the red plus button right at the bottom. Click on Settings. change the name to basic quiz before you click save you can also give your app a description and icon if you want right there or you can change the icon right there by uploading a picture of your own choice and click save the first thing we want on our app is the first question we can add a question by using the text item in AppSheet. Let's say the first question of our quiz is what is 20 plus 14? Click on text. In the text box named text type what is 20 plus 14? Click save. Adding the buttons. Now that we have posted the user a question we need to give them some options to click on. We will have three incorrect options and one correct option. Let's add the incorrect options first. These will take the user to a new page with the word wrong written on it. Click on button under forms. In the box named label type 39. Now at this point we will have to, a button with the number 39 on it. We need to now tell it to take the user to the new page. Click action change action, click standard screen and click save. Now when we click on the button with 39 in it, it will take us to a blank standard screen. Here we can use the text item again to place the word wrong, letting the user know they chose the wrong answer. Click on the button name 39, click navigate. Click on text under standard screen items. In the text box name text type wrong. Click save, click back. Now if someone clicks on 39, which is the incorrect answer, they will be taken to a screen letting them know they are incorrect. Now let's add two more incorrect options which do the exact same thing as the one we just made. See if you could do it yourself. Hint make sure you don't use 34 as this is the correct answer. Now we have to make a correct answer. Our app should now have three buttons on it that are all incorrect and take users to a page that says wrong on it. Let's now add a correct answer. Click on button under forms. 
in the box named title type 34. Click on action, change action, standard screen, save. Click on the button, button named 34, navigate. We should now be on the screen the user gets to after clicking the correct answer. We will make this page into our second question. But first, let's add some text to let the user know they got the answer correct. Click text under standard screen items. In the text box named text typed correct with an exclamation mark. Click save. Now we can add our second question. Let's make it what's what is 37 times 2? Click text on its standard screen items. In the text box name, text type what is 37 times 2? Click save. The process of adding the three incorrect and one correct button are the exact same as before. See if you can do it yourself. If you need help, go back and revise the previous steps. The last thing we will now do is make a final screen that congratulates the user and take them back to the home page. Before you do this, make sure to add as many questions as you want. After the last correct answer on your quiz, we will add some text and a button telling the user to go back to the start. Click text under standard screens. In the text box named text, type click the button below to go back to start. Click save. Now we will add the button. Click button under forms. In the text box named label type, restart. Click action. Click change action. Click jump to tab. Click on tab name and click save. Congratulations! The first quiz is done! Just like that we have made a very basic quiz app. Of course, like with all AppShed apps, we can publish this and share it with our friends or view it on our mobile devices. Remember, click on publish, click on start. You'll now get a thumbs up when it's done publishing. We can now share it to our mobile device. All you have to do is click on share, click QR code, scan the QR code with your mobile app, test the app. Are you ready to build an even better quiz app? Listen to awaits.